Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and sadly I'm not going to be able to get any reactions recorded today, because it's a big coincidence that Rachel decided that she was supposed to move in to her new house today, on the only day off that I have. So, most likely when the boys get done with Head Start, my mom gets off work. She's probably going to drop them off here and go back up there and help her. But what am I, why would she have to do that? Because my dad and my brother have already gotten all her stuff out of the house, except the clothes, obviously. And taken them apart and taken them out of the house and left. Once Rachel gets off work... They can go over there and hopefully put things together. All Rachel would have to do would be to clean the house. So mom shouldn't have to go over there. So I don't know what's going to happen, guys. It, If I get lucky, my mom won't have to go over there. I doubt it, though. Anyway, uh, this is going to be my review for Dragon Ball episode 138. I'm going to try and get as many of these done as I can. Because I only have nine left to edit. I'm already past 143. I've already done 144. So, yeah. I'm going to try and at least get to that point. Because then I only have nine episodes left. And I don't have to be at work tomorrow until 11. So if I get up early. Because I ended up sleeping in today. Didn't get up until probably less than half an hour ago. If I can get up early and record for the reviews. I might be able to get it done tomorrow. So, it might, I might get lucky. So, yeah. So, no Sword Art Online and no Naruto recordings until my next day off. Which, hopefully, it will be sometime soon next week. And hopefully more than one day, because I only got one day this week. Anyway, uh... This episode has two fights in it. So, the fight between Krillin and Piccolo doesn't even last a whole episode. Krillin obviously gives it his all in this fight against Pic against uh, Piccolo Jr. Sadly, he ended up taking a hit, like a, one of these things, right to the head. Which ends up, I don't know if it ended up knocking him out, but it dazed him at least enough time for the announcer to get to 10. So yeah, Krillin did give it his all in this episode. I have a bad form, but at least he lived through this episode. Then again, uh, I don't know if Piccolo Jr. would have killed him, or if he would have stayed by the rules because you can't kill, obviously. If you want to advance the tournament and still go after Goku, despite this, if he had killed Krillin. I think he possibly would have, I don't know. If you guys have a different opinion, go right ahead. Uh, so I had to take off my ring, it's kind of getting a little tight on my finger. Anyway, the next fight that ends up happening is Hero versus Yamcha. Yeah, in this fight, Hero starts acting like the idiot who can't do anything again like he did with Yajirobe. And ends up showing that he can actually fight, though, by accident. Which ends up throwing Yamcha off quite a bit. Though I think the fight doesn't end in this episode. I think it ends next episode. So we won't get to see who wins, I think, in this episode. So it'll be next time when we find out who wins that fight. But yeah. There's obviously something... Something up with Hero because... And yet he can take down... He can take down Yajiro, but he can take down... Possibly take down Yamcha. Something's up with this guy because he doesn't seem like a fighter. Or doesn't even act like one, to be completely honest. He acts like a bumbling idiot who doesn't know what he's doing. So yeah, something's definitely up here. But we will find out eventually what's going on. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.